Hi everyone. Um, so I've done a couple of videos recently about things you can use in your home. And I have mentioned a few things that you can use, but I've not actually ever tried it myself. So I thought, well, why don't you try it? And why don't you show people if it actually works? So if you're starting out crafting, junk journaling, card making, and you're on a budget, you can't afford all the fancy dancy ink pads and stuff. So I did tell you on one of my um, things you can get in your own home for free, uh, videos that you can use eyeshadow. Now I've never actually tried eyeshadow. So I've been and got some of my really old stuff out and this is actually new, but this is old. So I thought, okay, practice what you preach, girly. Let's see if eyeshadow actually works. And I've just discovered a few little things that you can use. And I'm glad I didn't film it because I just sounded like a right idiot because I were doing little happy squeals and all sorts. I was like really giddy that I'd found this thing. So I've just got this piece of... Um, spare card here so i'm just going to take a little ink dauber and some brown and see if it let's see if it works it does work it's not very dark but it is working i don't know if you can see it i don't even know if the camera's picking that up but it is coloring it you can have probably powder that wipes off a little bit but it has Where's the camera? It has colourised the edge. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So eyeshadow is a tick. Yes, it does work. That's quite cool, actually. And I would, I would imagine if you... Sorry, I'm going to be really disgusting and wet my finger. I would imagine if you wet it, it probably becomes a bit darker. Yes, it does. It goes on a bit like an ink. Oh, so if you have and uh, maybe a little wet sponge and you can just wet your fingers, you can even wet it and that it still does the same thing as an ink pad does and colourises. <laughs> I've got dirty finger now. Um, and then this, this is a new set that I bought. I thought I'd treat myself to some eyeshadows. And to be honest, I don't know why, because I pretty much never wear an eyeshadow. That is out of the eyeshadow. Keep that. Put that in my craft stash. But these are beautiful. Look at them. But I never use them. So I thought, well, could I do something with these? These are really pretty. It's like really condensed glitter. But I think I've used it once on my eyelids and it, yeah, it doesn't go on card. Um, no, it just comes off. Maybe you've got to use this first. This is like, um, oops, I don't know, a cream. Maybe you're supposed to put the cream on and then put the glitter on. I don't know. I've never really sussed out how to use it, which is why I haven't used it. Oh, that's nice on its own. That's got like, I don't know if you can see in the light. Gives it a nice pearly sheen. Let's try a bit of the my favourite colour. Maybe you're supposed to stick that over the top. Oh, I don't know. That's not working either. Okay, abandon the glitters. The powders work around the edge because I did that one earlier. The powders work, the glitters, not so much. Hmm, I thought I might have found a use for them then, but maybe not. Okay, so that's the eyeshadows. But then I just discovered this other thing because I saw this pile of pens on my windowsill. And I was like, do you know, Sue, you buy all this stuff and you hardly ever use it. I did used to use these. I used to use them in my, um, you know, those colouring books we all got, did loads of. Um, I used to use them in my colouring books. But then I kind of thought, well, I wonder. So for people who haven't got paints, they haven't got inks, they haven't got all this other stuff. Have you got pens? Maybe you've got pens because she used to do those colouring books. Can I use these pens as paint? Hmm. So I've got a little water brush here. You fill that end with water and just give it a squeeze and it comes down to the tip. 
Um, you don't have to have a water brush. Any paint brush and a little cup of water will do. But I just thought I'd try. These are metallic. So I thought I'd try just to see if a pen could become paint. Okay, can you even see that? Is it in shot? I can't even see where the thing is that I've drawn. Okay, so I've just drawn that. And all I'm going to do is use the water just to pull out the colour. And guess what? It actually works. So you could pull that and make them into actual petal shapes. Can you even see any of this that I'm doing? Yeah, you can. Um, I probably should bring you a bit closer. Sorry if the phone falls out. So yeah, all I'm doing is taking, uh, this is a metallic, they're just gel pens. So if you've got any of these, you can just draw a little, let's draw a little, I don't know, petal shape. But then if I wanted to make it into an actual bigger flower, I can just draw that out. You still kind of get the dark bit in the middle, but if you're doing a flower, you sometimes need the dark bit in the middle, but it does work as a paint. So if you've got any um, gel pens, you can paint with them as well. I'm quite enjoying this, this is cool. So you just do a lot, load of spots, not neat at all, but then you can just pull it out Maybe the gold's not the best example because you can't see it on the paper. But draw it out, just put a splodge in the middle and make it into a... and draw that out a bit as well. So you can probably blend the colours. I've just discovered this and I thought it was pretty cool so I thought I'd show you. I'm not very good at painting so <laughs> yeah my efforts are not that great but you, do you see the potential that's the point I'm getting at. Do you see the potential in your pens and probably you could do it with felt pens as well. I don't have any felt pens I don't think. Um, oh, wait a minute I do have a oh gosh where have I put them? I do have a brown somewhere. Um, sorry, I was organised, but now I'm not. Ah, here we go. This is a brush marker. So this, I don't know if, I don't know. Will it work? Let's have a look. So I could do a bit of that. Will that pull out? Yeah, it does actually. It does. It just makes like a paler petal round it. So I was thinking if you did the middle bit, give me another one that you might be able to see. I'll use the green again. So if you did the middle bit, like just like that, that's very scribbly, sorry. Bring it down so you can see it. But that's the middle bit. Then you can just pull out these amazing like watercolour petals. Like I say, I am not an artist. I can't draw. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. But you get you get the ink spreading, which is cool. I imagine you could make some really, really pretty flowers and stuff from that. If you are a bit of a painter, well, that's a great idea. And the residue that's on the thing still makes... Um, we well, can't really see it, but it's a glitter, like a glittery accent. Actually, I've got a glitter pen here, glitter gel pen. Let's try that. Let's try that. Just do some little round circles and then pull them out into bigger petals. Oh, wow. And it does work. So I suppose you could go on and actually add to that. You know, add other colours to come out to make other petals. Don't laugh at my drawing. I'm not, I'm not very good. But it's just to give you an idea. If you don't have paints, well, now you kind of do. If you've got gel pens, great. Because you can use gel pens normal, just normal, in your journal. Write words with them. Draw little accents on the corner of your page. You might have a page you can just do swirls if you've got colored pens do just little swirly things flourishes little hearts whatever 
like I say, I am not very good at drawing, but you can make little accents in the cornery pages or do things up the edge of a page. But if you've got gel pens, then you've got little decorations, which is really cool. I'd, I'd only just, I just saw the pens and I just thought, what can I do with them? Because I'm not very good at drawing. So I tried this technique and I'm really, really liking it, actually. The fact that it kind of balloons out into an actual petal is quite cool. I didn't actually think pens would do that. But that's actually really pretty. I can just keep spreading it out a bit. Like I say, I could probably add other colours in there. Could add a, maybe a bit of green. And oops, smudge it out, smudge it out. I think I'm just making a big mess now, but... <laughs> it gives you the idea, doesn't it? It gives you the idea. That's not that good. Don't look that closely. <laughs> but it gives you the idea. Then that was all it was. I just wanted to come on here and say, oh, wow, look what I've just found. I did a flower on an envelope. And that actually, that one there, it really doesn't show on camera, but it came out quite nice. So, <laughs> well, I thought it was nice. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's another idea. You can use your pens and it even does it with felt tip pens. So even the felt tip pens. So if you've got a little cup of water and a paintbrush, wow, the possibilities are endless. And the fact that that does that, that's like when you draw, when you normally draw a petal, you might draw a petal and you do that little kind of thing in there, don't you? So that kind of does it for you because that's the middle bit but it's drawing the colour from it to spread it out and I think that's kind of neat I would imagine you can do some really nice flowers like that and maybe even cut them out and if you've got um, metallic pens or glitter glitter gel pens you're going to get glittery little flowers so that'd be nice to just cut out and use an, as an accent in your journal um, I'm wondering if you could maybe even do it with the eyeshadow, maybe. Could you paint with eyeshadow? I don't know, maybe. Well, it's kind of looking like you can. I don't know, can you even see that? The main shot? You can, it's very pale and subtle, but it works. She could just paint some little, oh, I like that actually. <laughs> I like this, this is cool. Yeah, you could do little flowers like that. And then just come along with your pen and give it a, a centre. So yeah, you can use your eyeshadows to paint with as well. How about that? As I say, don't look at the drawing, because I can't draw. But look at the possibilities. So that was just another thing that I thought of. <laughs> I can, I'm just going to do some little short videos because sometimes I get ideas and I'm like, oh, you should have shown them that on your video. You should have done that. You should have shown them that. And I forget. And then I think, well, I can't just do a quick two minute video, can I? Not that it's ever two minutes with me and all my chatter. But um, yeah, so you can use these as paints. That's fab. I'm going to have some real fun with them. I wonder if you could do, let me have a look. This is gold, so it's probably not the best colour to use. But I'm just wondering if you can go kind of a bit on the edge. Oh gosh, that's really thick. But then spread it out a bit so it's not quite as dark. And Well, it does spread, but not much. But you could even colour the edges of your tickets and pockets with the gel pens. So if you haven't got inks, you don't need to worry if you've got eyeshadow and you've got pens and shoe polish and all sorts of other stuff that you can use. So yeah, that was just a that was just me sat musing, looking at these pens on the windowsill in the box, thinking, hmm, I don't draw. Can I actually can I actually use them for anything? 
And the answer is yes, you can. Oh, struggling to get the thing back on. So yeah, any pens, colouring pens, felt pens. I don't know what's just happened. Oops, I really don't know what's just happened, but I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, sorry about that. Apparently I've got low battery. <laughs> I was like, what's happened? What's happened? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, that was just a very quick, very short video showing you how you can possibly use gel pens. And if you're a better painter than me, you could have some real fun with them. So I'll see you soon on the next video. Bye.